I have to let you all know that I'm incredibly nervous to be here in front of you. I've spoken in groups, in front of groups of people before, but I've, I've actually never worn a sweater vest in public. <laughs> so, on June 10th, 2013, I had my first quarter life crisis. It was the day that I realized that I was 104 weeks away from turning 30. When I realized this, I did what any sensible 28-year-old would do. I created a bucket list. A bucket list of the things that I wanted to do before I died. This quickly actually became incredibly depressing because I started thinking about when am I going to die or how am I going to die or how long am I going to last? How many more years do I have? So I had to come up with a new name for my bucket list. I call it this. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Phuket, as in Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> sorry about that. I've never been to Phuket and I've always wanted to go. So I have a list of 104 things, one for every week that I want to do before I'm 30. Some of these things are habits. One of the other depressing moments that I realized when I was working on the bucket list was that if I read a book a month for the rest of my life, I'll read 12 books in a year or 600 books in my life. I want to read more than that. So my goal for the next two years is to read a book a week. And even if I don't succeed, then I'll start reading more frequently so that I'll at least break 600. A couple of those other things that people always put on their bucket list is big E experiences, rafting the Grand Canyon, or going on safari in Africa. <laughs> and those things are great, but they're really, really big E expensive. So you can't do them that often. So I had to think through my life, what are the moments where is little E experiences? What were the things that seemed a little bit smaller, but were actually tons of fun? So this right here, that's my outhouse racing team. <laughs> Every year in the town of Nemo, South Dakota, about 200 people gather for an outhouse race. This was our, our uh, steed, Cool Runnings. We've also raced as a little outhouse on the prairie and hairy squatter. Um, <laughs> dedication to John and toilet hackers as well. I'm, I'm personally pushing for fireia but I don't want to push my friends too hard because it could get dangerous. So I had to think about those things in Charlottesville that I can do, the smaller things, going to the restaurant that I've never been to, going and hiking Old Rag with some friends at, um, during the, when the moon's out when I haven't done that. So I had to think of those little things. So this is, this is the big list. This is the 104. I got two of them today. <laughs> Wear a sweater vest in public, give a TEDx talk. <laughs> now, the difference that makes a difference is not me telling you about my list. It's about me telling you how to make your list. And so the first thing you need to do is pull out your phone and you need to create an app on it and it says, my Phuket list. And every time you think of something that you wanna do, you just pull out your phone and you add to it. You can do it with pen and paper as well, that's fine. The other thing that I'm gonna tell you about is the three simple T's to make you successful at this. The first, tell your friends. You are going to want companions on this and you are also going to find out that your friend Brooks, AKA Rocky, has already rafted the gully five times, so I didn't have to think about the logistics of it because he already made it happen. The second T, take pictures. You never know when you are going to be the lone wolf howling by yourself at the World Cup, or when you're gonna be standing in line at the Red Sox game and you meet a kindred spirit. <laughs> now, feel much more comfortable. The final thing, and the most important, is I want you to talk to strangers. I mean this passively in the sense of write things on the back of your shirt that you want to do so that perfect strangers can see them and read them and talk to you about them. I also mean turn to the people that are next to you, because you probably all sat with your friends. Turn to the people next to you that you don't know. Introduce yourself. Tell them one thing that you want to do this year and get their phone number so you can call them a year from now and remind them to do that. <laughs> and all of you that are looking for a date tonight, you can thank me later, because I just gave you an excuse to ask somebody out, no problem. <laughs> so it's super simple. Make your list, tell your friends, take pictures, and talk to strangers. Thank you.